Good morning everyone, Ollie here. Afternoon, evening, wherever you are. It's down here in the beautiful Coromandel Peninsula. It's been a while since I've been out on the kayak, so we're gonna we're gonna take the old Viking Profish 440 out to a paddle to this headland and cruise up the coast. It's new ground, I've never dived up there, so pretty excited. That's that's what I like to do, explore new spots. Usually pays off. Um, so yeah. Not too worried about getting a feed of fish today. Um, I'll get something for dinner. It's pretty, pretty hard not to get a feed in New Zealand. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a bit of exploring, have a nice paddle, a bit of exercise. It's an absolutely mint day, like incredible. No wind, no swell, a little bit of swell, and uh, hopefully we've got some clean water. Yeah, let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, haven't seen my setup, so this is my kayak. I've got the chill pod on the back, chuck the catch in there, I forgot ice, so I might just have to shoot a fish uh, closer to when I'm coming back in. We've got our dry well in here, oh, nice and secure, phone keys, wallet and stuff, um, that's really handy. Big storage compartment in the middle here, that comes off. Got all my gloves, masks and gear in there. Got the anchor up in the front here, it's already connected to the front as well as my float line. Curled up here ready, click it onto my spear gun, jump in the water ready to go. Got my weight belt. It's bloody cooking so I've got my bottoms on and I'll just chuck that uh, jacket on when I'm out there. If I want to, it's super hot. So yeah, let's go. That water's beautiful, very warm. Right in the middle of summer here in New Zealand. Beautiful time for spearfishing. Water's cleaned up generally. And uh, fish life's just getting better and better. Small little swell here to get out through. And then that's us. All right. Wait for this next, wait for this next swell then, that's us. Water's beautiful, clear. Might be on to a uh, good day out in the water. All right. Been out in the kayak, had a few guys asking me where my next trip is. Got me a bit of mo motivation to get out again, so well, the water I can just see right to the bottom here. It's about five meters here, but I don't see why it's going to get any dirtier. So, I've got about one and a half kilometers to paddle, and then we're going to be uh, into it. Beautiful. Beautiful day. It's my favorite place, the Coromandel by far, so I'll have to move down here one day. All right, I'll um, catch up once I'm over in this headland. I'm just halfway along here and there's some fish on the surface just here boiling up. I don't know if you can just see that, about 10 meters off. I'll try to get a bit closer to see what it is. Great thing about kayaks, you can sneak right in. Where are you? Camera shy. Oh, it looks like a mullet jumping. Um, often find mullet cruising through bays and stuff. Oh, there's one behind me. Might be Kawai or most likely mullet that jumped like that. Oh, carry on.
Whew, that's hot. Well, I've made it to the other side here and it's just a beautiful, beautiful bit of coastline. <laughs> Big, sharp, jagged, rocky outcrops, which will probably make its way underwater, I imagine. Um, just, just found a few commercial cray boys here dotted all around this area so um, it's usually a good sign that there's some crayfish here if they're potting for them so um, don't touch their cray pots that's that's their livelihood um, you know commercial commercial fishing gets a bad rep but hey everyone's trying to um, survive out there in the world so don't don't mess around with their pots but I will dive around them and see, um, see if there's any crays about so might shoot up to the point here there seems to be a few more boys about and um, we'll jump in and have a look a little bit more greener out here but it looks fairly clean so can't wait to get in all right i reckon um i'll jump in here and have a look work my way along this coast can't wait any longer it's so hot so what i'm gonna do as i showed you before find the end of this float line hopefully that's not too tangled clip this off to my spare gun and i just tow the kite behind me i'll chuck that in It'll work as a bit of an anchor while I get the rest of the gear on. Um, I have an anchor up the front later if I need it, but um, I'm just going to tow the kayak around for the meanwhile. Right, we need some booties, glove would be good, snorkel. Got a torch in there if I need it. Jacket, mask. I'm going to head in here and warm up the lungs a bit, see if there's any crazy and shallow. Diving down, it's all new terrain, all new territory for me, so I'm just scanning, gauging the area, Trying to find some nice cracks and crevices, boulders, anywhere where a crayfish could be hiding. I'm scanning for their antenna, their feelers, orange colour, just any sign of a crayfish. It's quite nice visibility, not very fishy, but I'm just looking and enjoying the moment. I've swum a few hundred metres along the coast here now. I'm out near the point, it's getting a bit more fishy as there's a little bit more current. Lots of demisal here, usually a good sign. A few tiny blue mau mau, but no snapper seen. No bait fish. Some nice cracks here, so I'm diving down once again. Nice cave here. I see a red mochi poking, my favourite trick to finding a crayfish, so I head down to inspect but just the lone red mochi sitting in his cave, her cave
I'm just so enjoying this. Um, as you spear over the years, you slowly uh, start to just just appreciate being out in the water. And it's just really not about just going and shooting every single fish you see, which my, I myself I've been very guilty over the years. Just go out and just uh, shoot a few too many fish that you need for the hell of it. Um, it's just amazing just cruising around there's so much sea life out there and interesting things to see when you're not focused on getting a feed and often you're actually a lot more calmer in the water as a result and uh, end up seeing some awesome fish so um, just cruise out there enjoy it and often uh, it works out for the best all right let's go see what's underwater Still no fish seen worth shooting or any crayfish found, but hey, that's part of the fun. It's exciting exploring new bits of coast. You never know what you're going to come across. Oh, it's just amazing. One of those glass over days. Oh, it's just so nice being in the water. Amazing country here, big bouldery terrain, covered in kelp, um, very healthy looking, no canaverans, it's um, a good spot. <laughs> find an old cray pot here on this dive, wedged in between some boulders. Nothing in it of course, being an old pot, but it looks like good ground, hence why the cage was there originally by the looks of it. Had a search, no crays though. Just keep searching. Awesome little sea cave here. Drop the gun down here, we'll go have a look, eh? Pretty neat. Often you'd think little caves like this would have heaps of craze and stuff in them, but uh, they often they get hit so hard by the swell and surge. It's it's quite cleaned out and barren, but you never know. We'll go look. Pretty cool, but yeah, it's predicted quite barren, so. Yeah, keep cruising along the coast. Well, I had a good little search around that point. Um, not too much going on. Bit of fish life, but um, no sign of snapper other than a 10 centimetre sized fish, and yeah, no kind of bait fish or anything. Had a fairly good hunt for some craze, no luck yet. Um, so, yeah, just gonna paddle along this coast. There's been heaps of jet skis flying around, so it's getting a bit busy in this little zone. So, yeah, we'll cruise up the coast and uh, keep exploring. Just amazing coastline all along the Coromandel. Incredible place. Water doesn't seem to be getting too much cleaner, but um, it's beautiful. It's warm. There's some nice uh, rocky outcrops and stuff here. Um, 
they might still be catching this current I'm on another point here so so yeah we might cruise a bit further and, and jump back in Right, I've paddled uh, a bit further along the coast. I think I've found a likely spot to jump back in. <sighs> Cooking. Well, jumping in a few hundred meters up the coast and it was completely different. Just hundreds of fish milling around this one little point here. Good sign. I decided to anchor up as it was a pretty fishy spot. Crushed up some kinna, threw them over this ledge and went to hunt for some craze while the kinna sat, hoping to bring in a snapper. It wasn't long before I find a nice crack in a hole here looking like it would hold some crayfish. First dive down and I find a nice red cray here in this crack. I line the crayfish up, figure out how I'm going to grab it and then just go for it. The cray didn't have much space to back up into so it was an easy fight. I dive back down again with the cray attached to my belt and straight away I see another nice crayfish here. I come in for the approach. I should really be grabbing with my left hand here but I didn't have a glove and didn't want to get my hand ripped up so go with my right. Unfortunately this cray was too quick for me and had a nice deep crack to back up into so he got away this day. <laughs> okay. It's slow. There's plenty of crayfish around, mostly quite small, so I keep hunting. I've got my one crayfish here connected to my belt. He's clinged onto my leg for the ride. Quite funny. I find some nice bouldery terrain down the bottom here. Nice crayfish sitting in here, just out of arm's reach. I take a Hail Mary shot, but he shoots out the back. Beautiful bay here, good side of crayfish. Cruising along the bottom I spot some nice crays in the cave so I make my way back to the surface, have a nice breathe up and I'm back down here sinking into the depths. We're about 10 to 12 meters here, perfect nice bouldery terrain and there's a few crays in this cave here, then I spot some big legs just under here to the right. Don't know how I'm going to get this guy out of here so I just go for it and just slam him get hold of his body, he wiggles free a bit, then I get hold of his horns and don't let go. Bit of a tussle and out he comes. It's a beautiful buck cray. That's a nice cray. Oh. Oh. The hard with the one hand. Ah, beautiful. Woo. Right, I'll go get the kayak, come back, and um, try to get one more. I'm allowed one more, but I'm not. Alright. 
right. Nice. Great. Get them in the, in the bin. Beautiful. I dumped the craze in the chill pod and made my way back down to the ledge where I threw the kinner off. Still fairly fishy, but just no sign of snapper. A couple of very, very small ones out in the distance. Not my day for snapper or fish. It's okay. Got a few craze, so I'm stoked. on board success well that was a success new little spot there jumped in and um, found that first nest a couple of smaller crays and then I uh, had to work my way uh, along the coast and found that nice bomb there I found the dead shell of a crayfish so knew I was gonna be onto them soon missed a good sized one and then I found another bouldery crop and it's loaded with crayfish um, I just grabbed the first one, it looked pretty big and it's a nice cray, so um, I've only got one glove on today, I've already got a kinna right under my thumb and so hands were full, got the cray in the, in the chill pod and um, we'll head back down there, my gun's somewhere down there in the water, gotta get that and uh, yeah, I might try to get one more cray. Oh well, jumped out of that spot. Just couldn't get those crays in that uh, in that hole. They were just down that that deep crack. It was a bit dodgy. If I had uh, um, someone with me, I could have dove down and they could have yanked me up by my feet. But um, yeah, a bit dodgy by myself. So um, don't want to push it. So yeah, bloody good. A couple of crays on board. Um, just got to measure that one now actually. And then we're gonna cruise another. I don't know, 500 metres up the coast. Um, see if we can find anything else. One little rock comes off the, the shore there. I might try and dive. Um, check it out while I'm here. And then we'll um, yeah, cruise back along the coast. Right, I can see why there's all these jet skis and stuff around. There's just a massive sea cave here. So um, must be a bit of a, a tourist spot. I've never been here before. Let's go have a look. Wow, this is pretty cool. I think I have heard of this cave before, but I thought it was quite up the, um, thought it was up the coast a bit more. Look at this. This is just incredible. Wow, amazing. I love caves, caving. Let's cruise in a bit, eh? We'll see how uh, deep it goes. Pretty neat. See, it's not all about shooting fish out on the water. This is awesome stuff.
very cool, very cool. It's a neat feeling being in caves. I don't know what it is, but um, I love it, eh? It's pretty cool in here. Real cool. Oh well, there's my um, sight being done for today, tourist activities. Cruise out here, there's another boat coming in and we'll go see if we can get some fish or prey. Diving back down, there's craze everywhere. Seemed to be every little crack, every little crevice and cave had a couple of craze, so easy pickings. I didn't bring enough wood of this day, and man, I started to cramp up at this stage, so. It was almost time to pack it into the day. everywhere. I have a bit of a measure up and uh, sort. Beautiful. Can only take three so I'll get the three biggest. So two of these are definitely well legal. That one's beautiful. So is that big one at the back? So just need to check some of these smaller ones. It looks a bit small. That's a female. So let's have a look. Too small. Chuck that back in the reef. It's a, another female and it's too small. So you got one, two, there's another female, all females around here, just too small. So, I need one more cray.
stuff up tree. Beautiful crazy man. Good size. Very good size. And bless big boys hiding right at the back in here. That's a nice cray. Look at that. Oh, that's a goodie. We'll let them sit in there. Get back to base. Get some ice to get them cooled down um, and they'll just slowly slowly dive the afternoon on ice and then uh, beautiful eating for dinner. Just moving out of my little spot here, so you don't know where I am. Um, that was a neat little dive. Cool little reef that I've just found. Um, absolutely loaded with crays, so um, yeah, I'll definitely come back here and um, miss quite a few good ones, the heaps of small ones, so it's just a good spot by the looks of it. So um, I'll be back. Um, yeah, neat, neat little dive, so wind's picking up a little bit, getting a little bit bumpy, so um, yeah, we might just whew, make our way back along the coast, beautiful coastline. It's just an awesome, awesome day out, yet again on the water, I just love it. I often get asked, where do you find crayfish, where do you, where do you go, we don't know where to find them, I've looked everywhere. Tell you what, you just gotta look, you just gotta keep looking. Um, this is a whole new bit of coastline, I've never dove here before. That wasn't deep, that was probably three to five metres, most of those crays. They're not deep, um, very accessible. I'm on a kayak, probably a bit far for a shore dive. Um, but yeah, if you've got a kayak, obviously if you've got a boat, you're sweet. Um, just get to those little rocky outcrops and stuff that catch a bit of current. Um, nice bouldery looking terrain, bommies and cracks that they can hide under and stuff like that. Um, they do like a bit of kelp cover generally. Um, and just hunt. I've hunted for about three, four hours, I reckon, this morning, and I've got my craze, so it's not easy, but um, once you find those spots, generally they'll stay in those areas, so I'll come back here another couple of months, and there'll still be craze here, um, providing a couple of boatloads of people to come in and wipe them out, but um, yeah, get out there and look, you've got to search. Almost back. Get back to the beach. Get this wetsuit off and have a, a nice swim. It's cooking. Just an amazing bit of coastline. Incredible. I'm gonna get back to that beach way over there. It's not too far, about another 1.5 kilometers. Amazing, eh? Amazing country, New Zealand. Just incredible rock formations. Always wanted to study geology, never did. So, um, any geologists out there watching, know how all these were formed? Let me know in the comments. I assume it's some sort of volcanic formation once upon a time, perhaps. It really is neat just cruising around on the kayak. I've missed it. Like you just. I'm right next to the rocks. The places you can see and tuck into are just incredible, which you couldn't do on a boat and too far away to swim. So highly recommend kayak spearfishing or just kayaking. It's, it's a great little activity. Stunning, stunning afternoon, morning. I'm actually not sure what the time is. I've got my dive watch today. Um, I don't know where that's gone, but um, yes, yeah, quite nice not knowing what the time is. Don't know if you can hear that, it's all the cicadas are just in full force here in summer. Right, we better get back and get these crays on ice, don't want them to get too warm.
I'm going spear fishing and kayaking, kayak spear fishing, and you will uh, be amazed. Bloody good exercise. It's very rewarding. I'm almost there. Alright guys, we made it back to the beach. The swell is nice and small still, so I don't have to navigate too much surf. I'm just cruising and that's a wrap. So easy. There we go. ground once again producing the goods so can't beat it Whew. right let's get this kayak back on the roof go get some water and ice uh, definitely the worst part of kayak diving the drag up the beach at the end you realize how exhausted you are after all that Oh, it'll be worth it later when I bite into that beautiful crayfish. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm back. Cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed that little adventure. <sighs> Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't and want to see more content and um, Check me out if you haven't already. I'm on Instagram, bits and pieces on TikTok, and um, all the other usuals, Facebook and whatnot. So, yeah, say hello. Write a comment if you've got any questions, you want to see any future content, any tips for me. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.